My name is Jeremy Devers and um, I'm a college student from William Jessup University. I'm here um, with CTM for two months here in the Philippines and one of the biggest opportunities I have is to take part in basketball ministry. And so every, every Saturday morning I have the opportunity to help coach um, a basketball clinic for boys here from the local area. And so this is the second week and right now we're breaking everyone into groups and we're kind of doing a devotional time. And so it's a really cool opportunity just to bring in a lot of people because uh, basketball is very big here in the Philippines. And so it's a way just to get people out here and then we are able to share our own testimonies and also present the gospel. Hi, I'm Nick Vogt and we are here in uh, Cadiz City at Normal University and we just put on a track and field clinic here. I'm the director of Christian Team Ministries and we've been coming to the Philippines since 1989. Two and 2,500 calories a day. Women need fewer calories, so you, a woman should date at times about 25 to 30, so a woman should have a lower number to calculate by. Just finished lecture uh, this morning are the topics uh, sports nutrition and then uh, they talk about some of the relationship of the, the athletes to God and then to develop their moral character and their uh, potentials. Oh, wait, keep running, keep running. Keep running all the way to the end of the track. So when I, in the process of doing this, I developed what was called the handshake system of training, which to me is how I approach addressing the topic of teaching skills and teaching new material to athletes and, and students. The thing I found um, in listening to uh, Alan's testimony, um, one thing that I've come to realize that one thing that is dangerous about sports is it can tend to become a measuring stick of how we value a human being that somehow physical performance is equivalent to the value of a human being. And, and, I, and personally, when I adopted my own philosophy of coaching and teaching, I realized that that's not true. What athletics and sports really is, is an opportunity for students to express the way they intend to live their lives when they leave sports and when they go on into their professional world, when they go on to whatever God would have for them to do in their life. Hi, my name is Andy Lish. I'm from Idaho. I'm here in the Philippines to teach track and field, more particularly uh, sprinting, sprint training and sprint technique. Athletics here are a little bit behind the American athletics, so trying to catch them up to speed. Here in the Philippines, um, as an American, we have huge gatherings around us almost all the time. Anytime we're in the open, people come to see us, especially uh, when it's about sports. Filipinos love sports, basketball, anything. And anytime you have a gathering, you're, you have a chance to share the gospel directly and just through through your actions and through how you present yourself. It might seem like a small thing just to cheat a little bit at sports, but how is that going to affect them for the rest of their lives? You may be here today and thinking, well, I, I'm not a cheater. Um, I'm not fighting God's ways in my life. And compared to most people, maybe you're a good person. But God says that everyone has sinned. No amount of religion can save us. No rituals, no amount of going to church. Being religious doesn't save us. Only faith in Jesus. And then that will lead to us doing good things for God.
Hi, I'm Nick Vogt, and we are here in uh, Cadiz City at Normal University, and we just put on a track and field clinic here. I'm the director of Christian Team Ministries, and we've been coming to the Philippines since 1989. We are to help Christians uh, share evangelism concepts with the body of Christ, strengthen believers in their ministries, and then to help churches consistently send people throughout their world as, as uh, missionaries and sports ambassadors and, and uh, just sharing the gospel. Just finished lecture uh, this morning are the topics uh, sports nutrition and then uh, they talk about some of the importance of uh, the more the, the 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 relationship of the the athletes to God and then to develop their moral character and their uh, potential so so this afternoon we will change the venue and uh, Nick and Tad will continue to teach them and practical lessons about sports so that we can give them the balance uh, balanced diet or the balanced education uh, what is really how to, uh, what is really physical education and how to affect the physical aspect of of the players or the athlete as well as their uh, moral aspect and the spiritual aspect and uh, the Philippine Normal University is a school where we train the teachers uh, to go out, to go out into the field, and this school is exclusive also for uh, for the teachers only. And uh, the years before Nick and Tad came here, the school is staggering, and uh, some of the students and uh, and the people here they don't want their children to enroll in the PE or the physical uh, uh, education uh, courses. So the school had a little problem, and uh, the staggering, and uh, the students became. Uh, the medicine and little by little, and, and uh, their their uh, their problem is they cannot encourage uh, student to enroll in, uh, in or to enroll in the school and in and majoring the the physical education, and uh, God used that uh, circumstances in order for, to prepare the school for the coming of of your ministry from uh, from the U.S. So thank God for Todd and. Uh, and Nick, he, they came here to school, and we introduced them to the school, and they give us, uh, they give their skills, and they lectured about what is what is the importance of sports and uh, and the importance of the physical education in in our, in in the life of all the people, and not just the people, the whole community. So, and we we started to share to them, and uh, the school accepted the their uh, perspective and their principles and they lectured to some of the students seven maybe seven students who enrolled after those years the school uh, uh, got a number of students now more than 30 30 students who enrolled in uh, PE major taking Lens is not fog enough. Abu Hai. Yeah. My name is Jeremy Devers, and I am a CTM <laughs> intern here in Makola, and I'll be here for the entire summer working with Pastor Bravo with uh, sports and basketball ministry. <laughs> I'm Andy Lish from Idaho State University, uh, working with track and field, sprinting clinics, and demonstration. Start over, sorry. Uh, 
I'm here in the Philippines to uh, teach track and field, more particularly uh, sprinting and sprint training and sprint technique. Uh, the athletics here are a little bit behind the American athletics, so trying to catch them up to speed and teach them just enough so that they're they're with us, but they're not beating us in the major competitions. Well, just in the United States, just being an athlete gives you opportunities to share just on teams and at competitions. It's anytime you have a gathering of people, you can, you can share. And uh, here in the Philippines, as an American, being an athlete, I have many opportunities just at, at practices, at competitions to share with my team and with my competitors about the gospel. And I, sometimes I'm not as open to it, but other times I, I really go for it and that, that's a good opportunity for me and a good, a good chance to share the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ. And here in the Philippines, um, as an American, we have huge gatherings around us almost all the time. Anytime we're in the open, people come to see us, especially uh, when it's about sports. Filipinos love sports, basketball, anything. And anytime you have a gathering, you're, you have a chance to share the gospel directly and just through, through your actions and through how you present yourself. So that's kind of what we're trying to do is gather around the people and let them come to us and just reveal the good news.